Environment degradation has caused serious concern to the world's community. Pollutant buildups in the form of solid, liquid, gaseous are threatening human lives. Pollutants are produced by industry, petroleum, gas, mining and refinery process. Pollutants also comes from streets where vehicles are cramped in traffic jams. At the UNFCC meeting in Copenhagen, Indonesia has committed to reduce 26% of greenhouse gas emissions by 2020. Since then, the environmental issues have become one of the government's priorities. The Agency for the Assessment and Application of Technology, BPT, through Energy Technology Center, B2TE BPT, has been teaming up with United Nations Development Program UNDP to encourage the use of new technology, Micro Generation Turbine Technology, MCT, through Micro Turbine Cogeneration Technology Application Project, or MCTEP, in Indonesia. Micro Turbine Cogeneration Technology, or MCT, is a gas fueled power generation that serves as an alternative for efficient and environmentally friendly energy. This technology offering two benefits, reducing gas host gas emission because MCT operation producing less of CO, CO2 and NOx emission and microturbine can grab and reuse thermal waste for other purposes either for thermal energy or for cooling system a mechanism that we call cogeneration. Several countries, including worldwide companies, have adopted this technology to provide them with an economical source of energy. Gas-fueled MCT has proven to be more economical in terms of price per kilowatt hour than diesel generator. B2TE and UNDP are targeting 200 megawatt of gas-fueled MCT used by industries, malls, supermarkets, hospitals, hotels and buildings by 2014. For every megawatt of MCT installation, it will cost 1.5 million US dollars in investments. This means there is 300.4 million US dollars worth of MCT market to develop a considerably vast opportunity of investment for banking, electricity businesses, state-owned gas company and distributors. MCT has relatively small dimension, thus it only takes a small patch of space to build it. MCT life cycle is 80,000 hours with minimum maintenance requirements. The joint project between the Indonesian government and UNDP called Microturbine Co-Generation Technology Application Project or MCTAP will facilitate technology and application transfer of MCT and its components in industry and other sectors in Indonesia. The MCTAP project comprises of six components. The first component is Technology Assessment and MCT Application Development. The second component is MCT Demonstration and Market Development. The third component is Technical Support to MCT Financing intended to remove financing barriers to widespread MCT project development and implementation. The fourth component is MCT policy and institutional support. The fifth component is MCT promotion, which is intended to support creation of local MCT market. The sixth component is the technical support for local MCT industry. MCT can produce 275 to 320 degrees Celsius of heat, which can be converted into energy to spur heater. MCT with heater system is called Combined Heat and Power System, or CHP. 
Since CHP used its own heat to generate cooler, it can work with significant efficiency up to 80%. With our green culture, the company is firmly focusing on creating an efficient production system without compromising the well-being of nature. Right now, we are applicating two machines of C30 microturbine. That electricity for this machine support for our drying machine, which is the waste heat from the machine will use for other purpose like the chiller or something like that. This technology will increase the efficiency of the process, reducing the cost and as our green commitment to reducing the carbon dioxide, this all is in line with our commitment to contributing to a greener environment, providing reliable and affordable energy solution, and providing safe and convenient learning environment. By the end of the MCTAP project in five years, the total installed capacity of MCT facilities will be around 200 megawatt. There will be a total energy savings in industrial and commercial sectors from application of MCT of about 3.2 million barrel of oil equivalent. Average reduction in the cost of MCT of about 25%. The main target of this project is to reduce about 1.5 million tons of carbon dioxide in industrial and commercial sector in Indonesia.